I even burnt a freaking candle in the back for you guys. Do you see that? Who am I? Hello everybody, it is Melissa here talking to you right now and I am here with another video. So I decided I would film a haul. Now me, I don't go shopping that often, mostly because, not because I don't want to, trust me, it's mostly because I am a 19 year old living on my own and I work basically a minimum wage job. So, you know, I get it. <laughs> I was gonna say I get it where I can, but that's not what I it's not what I meant. Didn't okay. Basically I budget my money for things like rent and food and stuff like that. But when I can, I do buy clothing because I am a slave to the aesthetic. The first store that I actually bought anything at was PacSun. And the weird thing about PacSun is that um, I love their clothing in middle school. Um, that was back when they had like a bunch of skater stuff and like neon jeans and like graphic tees and stuff. And then I grew out of that and I really like was like, oh, I don't want to go to Pakistan. They don't have my style of clothes for a long time. But then I recently started going back because they've started having the kind of clothes that I like again. I know that PacSun carries a little section of Brandy Melville and for the longest time, I was against Brandy Melville because of their one size fits most kind of thing they have going on and I hated that because like all body types are different and not everything's gonna fit and like not everybody's gonna fit in this tiny little crop top but they started carrying sizes for things that would more require sizes like jeans and like jackets and stuff so I'm like okay I went into PacSun and I was like I have to get this so I got a few things from there, that section I guess, and this first thing that I got, which is honestly my new favorite thing, it's from the brand Mel Brandy Melville. It's this sweatshirt, it says girl power on it, and guys, if you know me at all, you know I am like such a girl power type of person, feminism, etc. So I just really wanted it, it's cute, I love it, next. The next thing that I got is this pretty dress. Um, once again, it's that one size fits all, but it's like a burgundy color. It's just this, it's like a bodycon dress, I guess. Um, and you know, these kinds of dresses are hit or miss with me. It fit exactly the way I wanted to, and the length of the skirt is perfect. It hits like, not like mid thigh, but a little bit below mid thigh which is the length that I like to have. It's just where, it's that length where I can basically just run around and not worry about flashing anybody because I hate that feeling. Anyways though, but I really like that, so I picked that up. This next thing that I got, um, <laughs> backstory, it's still from PacSun, um, but I really have been wanting a pair of overalls for a long time, and I have a pair of white overalls, but they're white and like, <sighs> White bottoms, you guys, are so hard to wear. Uh, I like them, but I don't really wear them that often because of I hate wearing white bottoms. So anyways, I was at PacSun and there was this amazing sale going on. It's like buy one, get two free off anything marked with like a blue sticker or whatever. All this denim on one rack was basically $14. And for a pair of overalls, you guys, $14 is like dirt cheap and then I looked up the quality and the quality was really good so I'm very excited um but so this first pair of overalls that I got first pair of overalls um it's like from that the Kendall and Kylie Jenner line that they have there and uh, I know but anyways it's cute here's like the top part it's very cute um it's not like the net the usual back that they have for overalls it's like just literally like attached to the top of the pants um, and then it's like basically skinny all the way down. I prefer to cuff them, that's why they're like already cuffed from when I tried them on. And they have this cute pocket on the side, so I guess you get that cargo pant vibe. Overalls are just so cute. It's a way from, you can just do like a jeans and t-shirt kind of thing, but it's like spicing it up a little bit. This next thing that I got is another pair of overalls, you guys. Yes, they're just that basic denim overalls and I'm very excited about it because I've been wanting a pair of these for so long. It has that normal looking bib 
And it's just, you know, a normal pocket. The more pockets, the better, you guys. It's really hard to find pockets on things when you're a female who wears female stereotypical clothes because all the pockets are tiny. Um, but yeah, and then here's the bottoms. It's like a skinny leg, but not like too tight, you know? It's like, uh, it's not like relaxed or anything. Or maybe it is, but it's not relaxed on me. Um, and once again, I cuff the bottoms just because that's the way that I like to wear them. And I love them very much. And I'm very excited. And once again, these were literally... Well, actually, these were free. They're originally supposed to be $64.95. I'm not going to spend anything over, like, $30 on a pair of overalls. Just in my opinion. I don't know. Um, but they were on sale for... $15, you guys. So if you bought them by your own, they'd, they'd be $15. But I actually got them in a sale that was buy one, get two free. So I'll show you that next piece that I actually paid for. But the two pairs of overalls were free. And the last thing that I got from PacSun, it was $36.95. But if you think about it, $36.95 plus I got these and two of the overalls for free. I had to pay for the Brandy Melville stuff because that shit's never on sale, so you know. But, um, but yeah. And so anyways, they're just these pants. I guess they're like a trouser. They're not trousers. I don't know. They're just like a pair of like pants that are not jeans and I can dress them up. And the reason why I got these, not only do I love the grid print, like the grid print is probably one of my favorite prints. I mean, very trendy, I know, but I've just always been so attracted to it. Um, the reason I got these is because sometimes we have business casual type meetings at work and I'm realizing I don't have that much business casual stuff. In fact, I think the only reason I own any business casual anything is because when I first started this job, we did it through orientations and stuff that like we had to wear business casual for and I literally didn't own anything so I just went to Target and bought like the grossest like teacherish, like momish looking stuff ever and I'm like every time I wear business casual I'm like I do not feel cute like this is really gross and like a lot of times you're making like your first impression on people in those meetings it's not people that you work with every day so I just I felt so gross to the point where I was borrowing my roommate's um business casual stuff because she is like the queen of business casual these are comfy they're dressy just wear like a nice top with it and then you're ready to go but you could also dress them down with just like a t-shirt and like a denim jacket and Voila! So I'm very excited. Um, they're tight, like right at the waist, like they cinch here, and then it gets really flowy in the leg, and then it tapers down right to that ankle. So this is also from Pac Sun, but it's from like a different time when I went to Pac Sun. Uh, um, and it is this necklace. It says as if on it. I'm, trying, I'm doing that whole beauty vlogger thing where they like of course it's not even working it says as if on it and if you do not get to that reference i don't feel like explaining it to you so that is that and another thing i got from that trip to pack sun is my new phone case it is just a marble phone case black because white did not go with the rest of my phone but i've been wanting a marble phone case just because i always think they look so chic and so cute so I got that and my old case was really gross so I need a new one. I went to the Calvin Klein underwear outlet. Um, Calvin Klein undergarments, I'm just saying like it's, one, it's my favorite kind of underwear and I'm not just saying that because I, okay, I'm saying it partially because of the whole like my Calvin's trend I guess which I'm total supportive of. I love the simplicity of it but everything there, um, I don't really care for their like just regular clothes you know but their undergarments good because not only is it simple it's modern it's comfy everything there no matter if you get like thongs briefs or like all even the guy stuff like i've seen their um like boxers and there's like a grid print boxer i really want to get just to wear as like shorts around the house like pajamas but haven't got that yet but anyways i was there for a hot second and i got a few things just a few I don't know, is this weird to me showing my underwear on camera? No, I don't think so. It's not like I, I haven't even worn it yet, you guys, so it's fine. I got this pair of underwear, and it has that Calvin Klein band across here. It's almost like, it's not like metallic. I, 
I would say the band is like metallic. It's like kind of shiny. You can't really tell. Um, and then this part is like, it's not cotton. It's like a, I'm sure it says on here what it is. It's 39% polyester, 39% nylon, and um, 22% elastane. I was gonna get the matching bralette, like sports bra type thing that comes with it, but they did not have my size because it was on like super sale, so it was basically all gone. They were having this, this sale in this little like pile of underwear basically that it was just like, you could buy six for, um, was it $20? Yeah, for like $19.99, you could buy six pairs of underwear. And it just so happened to be the kind of underwear that I love that is seamless and you don't have to worry about underwear lines. So I'm just gonna show you a few because after a while, they all start looking the same. But this is seamless, you know, just normal. I am not boy short, just like brief, I guess. Um, it has like that seam in the back, so like, you know. Um, and it just says Calvin Klein, very tiny right there, very subtle. But I just mostly like it because of the simplicity and you don't have to worry. And I basically just got the, and like, basically got them in a bunch of like blue tones. It's like a teal. This one's like a purple. And then I got a few that are the same, um, but they're like the thong version. Because, you know, whatever. Not gonna show it through your clothes. That's the best part. And now this wasn't really when I was out shopping per se. It was at a Troy Sivan concert. If you know me at all, you know that I love Troy Sivan's music and just him like all around is inspiration to me. Um, so me and my friends went to two Troy Sivan concerts literally in a row the night before the first one. We slept over and I went there and I bought some of his merch <laughs> because I'm trash and I needed it and Troy, his aesthetic is so pleasing, and of course his merch is also aesthetically pleasing. So I had to get it. And I got this sweatshirt, it's just a big old sweatshirt, but it's baby pink, you guys, and I love baby pink. And it says fireproof on it. And if you do not know or you're not a big Troy Sivan person that like knows every aspect of his music ever, like I am, <laughs> um, fireproof is from the song Youth. And when the lights start flashing like a photo booth and the stars exploding will be fireproof. Haha, -ha. get it? And fireproof is just such a cute word to have there because it's like, I'm fireproof, like I'm unstoppable. You can't, can't get me down, bitch. And then I got one other shirt because I had to because it's the tour shirt. And um, yeah, whenever I go to a concert and like I really like the artist, I have to get the tour shirt with like the dates on it. Like there's always merch that like doesn't have the dates on it and it's like other cool stuff. And like Choi had some other really cool merch that I wanted, but I was not about to spend like 5,000 billion dollars on This is the tour shirt for those of you who have not seen it. It's an outline, and this, okay, this was the fan submission um, one. He had a contest where people submitted their designs for t-shirts, basically. It's like an outline of Troy singing, and then it has the dates on the back. Oh my God, guys, I almost forgot to show you one of the other purchases that I made. It's not clothing, which is why I totally like spaced on it, but I recently went a little ColourPop crazy. If you don't know the brand ColourPop, they are an amazing makeup brand. So many people rave about their ultra matte lips. Um, like basically that liquid lipstick trend that like everybody is talking about and everybody is doing, blah, blah, blah. And I love liquid lipstick. I have so much from like Kat Von D. ColourPop, you guys, their liquid lipsticks are amazing. Honestly, I'm wearing one right now. I'm just testing this one out today, honestly. This is my first time. I bought seven, so I literally like have not been able to test them all yet. But this is Kapow. It's like this kind of color. It comes off like looking a little bit different. It looks like a grayish brown. It looks basically gray, right? It looks gray. It looks gray. And I've been looking for a grayish lipstick for a long time, and I love it. So there's that. I got Kapow, which is this that I just showed you. Then I got Trap. This one's almost kind of like famous, I guess. It's like a pinkish gray. And um, people describe this as gray. I got this one. Um, it's called Clueless. It's called Clueless, right? Yeah, it's called Clueless. 
and I decided to try it, but I tried it on at work. Honestly, the consistency of this one wasn't as good. Maybe I just wasn't having a good lip day or I didn't like exfoliate my lips before or like, I don't know. Um, I don't know, it, it was okay. If you like pink, you're gonna like this and it's a very nude pink, so it's cute. But I don't know, I'm probably gonna wear the other ones more than the. I got Creeper. Just a bright true red. I got these three that are all very colorful. This one's called Bedazzled, the purple one. This one in the middle is called Dr. M. It's like a beautiful, beautiful, like, um, dark forest green. I wore this the other day. Oh my god, you guys. It's so beautiful. I love it. I've tried this one on too. It's the Bedazzled one, the purple one. This one... I don't know, maybe it was because I was in like 95 degree heat and like I don't recommend wearing liquid lipsticks when it's so hot out because it, these are drying you guys, I'm not gonna lie. They're drying because they dry matte on your lips, but, and each one has like a little bit of a different consistency. The color is beautiful, it's a beautiful bright purple and I love it so much. And the last one, I have not tried this one out yet, but I have very high hopes because I love the color so much. It's called Jellies, and it's just a royal blue. Anyways, like and subscribe and comment and share and all that crap that you're supposed to say at the end of a video if you're a YouTuber. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this and have a great rest of your day or night whenever you're watching this, and I will see you guys later. Bye.